Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure, is her philosophy, and she definitely lived by it. Hiya, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we're doing another Harry Potter video. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of doing a Founders series. So today's character or person is Rowena Ravenclaw. So Rowena was born sometime in the 10th century in Scotland. She was revered for being one of the greatest witches of her time and she is one of the four founders of Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. Rowena Ravenclaw was always seen as beautiful yet intimidating. From her statue in Ravenclaw Tower we can deduce that she was tall with dark flowing hair and dark eyes. Sorry about the cars. I'm outside today and it's a bit windy so <laughs> at some point in her early life Rowena managed to get a hold of a wand it is commonly thought that she got the wand from the Ollivander family who uh, made the Ollivander's wand shop that Harry Potter got his wand from but it is also speculated that Rowena could have made her own wand. United with the common goal of creating the world's best magic school, Rowena united with the other three founders to create Hogwarts. She grew especially close to Helga Hufflepuff and they became best friends. It is a popular belief that Rowena was the person who came up with the name and the location for the school. She supposedly had a dream that a warty hog led her to a cliff next to a lake and that is where Hogwarts stands to this day. And it is also said that the moving staircases in Hogwarts were Rowena's creation much like the headmaster's office was Godric Gryffindor's and the Chamber of Secrets was Salazar Slytherin's. Like the other founders, Rowena had a house named after her, Ravenclaw, and the students picked for this house were picked based off of Rowena's personal values. These include wisdom, wit, intelligence, and creativity. So at some point in life, Rowena had a daughter named Helena. And Helena attended Hogwarts school and was also in Ravenclaw house. Helena would later become Ravenclaw's house ghost and took the title of the Grey Lady. So again later in life Rowena Ravenclaw created a relic that when worn could enhance the wearer's intelligence. This relic was known as Ravenclaw's diadem. And I'm sure most of you know what the diadem was, but if you can't remember, a diadem is a little tiara. Helena, jealous of Rowena's intelligence and accomplishments, stole the diadem and ran off to Albania with it. Rowena, devastated, decided to hide Helena's betrayal from everyone. A short time after this betrayal, Rowena fell deathly ill and still holding love for Helena uh, decided she wanted to see her one last time so she sent the Baron after Helena. The Baron had been in love with Helena for years though when the Baron found Helena and Helena then refused to return with the Baron the Baron flew into a fit of rage and killed Helena. When he came out of this fit of rage and realized what he'd done, he was so devastated that he took his own life. Okay, both of them then became their respective house ghosts. Helena, as I said earlier, became Ravenclaw's Grey Lady and the Baron became Slytherin's Bloody Baron. Rowena never got to say goodbye to Helena, though she may have if Helena became the ghost of Ravenclaw before Rowena died, but it is commonly thought that that didn't happen and it is said that a broken heart added to the death of Rowena. So Ravenclaw's diadem had stayed hidden in Albania for years and that is until Tom Riddle charmed the pants off of the Grey Lady and got her to tell him where she'd hidden it. 
Tom Riddle then found it and corrupted it with his Horcrux magic stuff. The diadem was later destroyed at Hogwarts in 1998 at the Battle of Hogwarts by Harry Potter. I believe it is also worth mentioning that Rowena Ravenclaw was not prejudiced against Muggleborns like Salazar Slytherin was. She voted with the other two founders, uh, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, to continue letting uh, Muggleborn witches and wizards attend Hogwarts. Okay, so Ravenclaw being described as one of the greatest witches of her time must have had some pretty impressive abilities. So here are some of them. Okay, so Ravenclaw was great at charms. Evidence as such is the diadem that we have mentioned before. And Rowena was incredibly intelligent and creative. She was also pretty good at magical architecture as uh, evidence as it was Rowena's idea to create the moving Hogwarts that it changes around, changes around all the time. That was her idea and the moving staircases so she was pretty good at that. So a few little tidbits to add here are that it is believed that Ravenclaw was Rowena's married name because Helena also had that last name. Though it could also be said that Rowena never got married and just gave Helena her maiden name as well. Also in the Harry Potter books, Harry Potter incorrectly identified Helena as her mother Rowena. And also both Rowena and Helga were referred to as males in the early German editions of the Harry Potter books. This was later corrected. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you are interested in other videos like this, head over to my channel and check it out. Let me know in the comments what house you are in. And please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. I will see you next time.